Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about the Bash CLI that comes as part of the Arista Switch platform. In order to do this, I'll first of all log into my CEOS instance. I'm going to go into privilege mode. And from here, I'll type the bash command. This brings me to the bash CLI. From this CLI, I am able to run any Linux command, right? So I could run paint working directory. I could run LS. I could change directories. So let's change directories, for example, to var log. And here I have all the different log files for EOS. I could go into the agents folder. And then I have the log files for the different agents that make up EOS. Remember in an earlier video, I said EOS agents are processes that perform a specific action. Um, so for example, STP or spanning tree protocol has an agent and that agent stores information in SysDB. If spanning tree process crashes, there's an agent called proc manager that restarts or not actually restarts, but creates a new instance of the spanning tree um, process or the spanning tree agent. And then that new instance of the spanning tree agent gets its last known state from SysDB. The process responsible for creating this new instance of spanning tree is called proc manager. And we could actually take a look at the proc manager logs. So I could run more proc manager worker logs and I can see um, the different information about the proc manager runnings here. This might be useful if you are doing some kind of detailed troubleshooting or you need to dive deep into um, what a particular um, agent was up to at a specific time. Another thing you could do is you could check out the MNT flash directory. It's another important directory. It has information about the startup config, for example, the zero touch config. Um, there's some information in persist. So you have um, persistent information like going to local. Another important directory we can check out is the flash directory. So I can go to MNT flash and then I could also, you know, look at information about the startup config. So I could do more startup config. I could also look at zero touch config. So more zero touch config. In this case is disabled. I could also take a look at schedule. So the schedule is actually quite interesting. So let's change directory to the schedule folder. And then in the schedule folder, there's this one subfolder called tech support. We change directory to that. And then there are a whole bunch of files. These files are just um, archives of different show commands that Arista collects automatically that enables the tech support. Um, help you troubleshoot any problem you might be having with the switch. So if you report a problem um, that your switch might have to tax support, tax support will generally request for um, the show tech files. And if you go back to the EOS CLI, the standard EOS CLI, and you run show run include schedule, there's actually a schedule job. So actually schedule show run include tech show run all because it's a default command so show run all include tech there we go so what you would notice is there is a default schedule job that runs every hour that collects these show tech files and you know this is needed by Arista, like I said, to help you troubleshoot any problem you might have with the switch. So you could come here and change the intervals. You could change the maximum log files to something else. Um, you could also run a different command if you wanted to run um, a different schedule job, for example. Anyway, let's go back to Bash and look at some other things. So one thing you can also do is you could run the fast CLI command. The fast CLI command allows you to run 
regular CLI commands from within Bash. So I could run show version, for example. I could run show IP interface brief. There's also a different way to do this without the fast CLI. So you could just run the regular CLI command and it gives you the same output. Um, in terms of how fast um, it takes to get this output, that's basically the main difference between the two. One is basically faster than the other. So generally it's recommended to use the fast CLI instead of CLI just for the sake of speed. Um, you could also pipe this to JSON. This is unconverted, so let's pick a different command. Let's say show version and we'll pipe that to JSON. So this is converted in EOS. Um, in subsequent versions, we might have show IP interface brief command um, being able to provide JSON output, but in this current, in this version, it doesn't. Um, so if I run show ver JSON, um, um, grab pipe JSON, you can see I have the same output, but in a more structured way. So I can have a script, for example, that runs in bash that passes this output and does a specific thing. So this is very useful. The fast CLI and CLI um, commands are useful for scripting. Um, one more thing I'd like to show you is TCP dump. So I can monitor the traffic destined to this switch and the traffic leaving this switch by using TCP dump. So I could just run TCP dump minus I any. And let's say I want to get three packets, just three packets. So it's going to capture just three packets. So that's one packet, that's two packets, just three packets. I could also do other things like write this to a file. I could call it test.pcap. So it's going to save those three packets in a, in a file called test.pcap. So I have test.pcap here. Right, and then I could read that file by using TCP dump as well, minus R test.pcap. So I see the three packets it captured. So there's so much more you can do on the Linux CLI. Um, feel free to spin up COS instances and test out different things. I hope this video was useful for you, and I want to thank you very much for listening.